one of the most popular video sharing app for the young in the U.S. is under fire. After the grilling of TikTok CEO, the ban on the Chinese-owned app seems inevitable. Now the country is divided between the ones who are supporting the ban and the creators and influencers who are opposing it. Amid several opposition from both Democrat and Republican lawmakers, TikTok has managed to win the support of New York Democrat representative. In a first video on the video sharing platform, she opposed a nationwide ban of the app and called any such move unprecedented. Earlier, TikTok CEO battled a barrage of questions by the U.S. lawmakers as they made it clear that the app is a threat to U.S. national security. The ban on the Chinese-owned app depends on the approval of legislation called Restrict Act, which empowers the U.S. Commerce Department to ban foreign technology that threatens national security. However, experts predict that the Biden administration needs to be more careful before passing any action against TikTok, as it will affect and also impact 150 million young Americans in the country. An earlier similar report by former President Donald Trump was struck down by a U.S. court. However, the White House has tabled a solution where it demands TikTok to severe their ties with the parent company ByteDance either through a sale or a spin-off. But experts have raised questions on this move, with many saying that TikTok cannot function without ByteDance as it develops the app's technology. But a ban on TikTok is not bad for everyone, as market experts say that any action on TikTok will benefit Meta and Snapchat at Wall Street. But how is it going to place Biden government or even the Republican lawmakers among the young voters? Well, according to Republican representatives, many youngsters are thinking that the panel is old and out of touch. But after a few years down the line, they will start caring about the lost data.